So, we've made it to the River Len. So this is part two of Small Rivers of Kent. I've just got to find the river now. I've never been here before in my life. So I've got no idea where it is. Somewhere in here. And look, there's a river. Can hear some water. Oh, cool. Magic. I'm pretty certain nobody's fished this. I'm going to go and get my rod set up. So here we are on the Len, the little Len. It's carrying a bit of water. And appropriate to the water, I brought my little tiny six foot rod. I've got my four meter landing net, but I've only used two meters of it. And just a little light float tackle, pouch of maggots. I'm as light as I can. It's a bit smaller than I had hoped. Uh, it's total jungle. Total jungle. I don't think man's been in here for a long time. <laughs> so I'm just going to sneak along the river looking for pools. I'm going to, I'm expecting to catch some trout. Uh, there's trout in here. Whether all the local Eastern Europeans have eaten them all is another matter, but we'll give it a go. It's probably going to be most through, through the GoPro because it's a pain setting this up in here. So I've got set up somewhere. It's a, it's a bit of a jungle and it is pushing through. There's not a lot of water here. I've spoke to a couple of boys and they said, uh, got to go a bit further up for some deeper water. But I just want to get a rod in the water. It's quite a mission going across Maidstone. But anyway, first cast. Oh, right. It's only a foot deep. I did see some little fish moving across here though. No. So hopefully there's something in here. It's not a foot deep. But this river is deeper than it looks. I nearly got caught out. The first swim I was in where I started, I waded downstream a little bit, uh, which looked really shallow, and it was going right over some alder roots, and uh, it was bloody waist deep. Fell in, got my towel wet. You know, I really uh, nearly come a cropper. It was a bit sketchy. I was hoping I might catch a little chub down here. There's a fish. <laughs> I wonder what this is. This would probably be a little chub. It'd be nice if there's some trout in here. Might be a dace, this one. Oh no, I think it's a trout. Oh, we will never know. I think that was a trout. I think that was a trout. It looked quite goldy brown. I don't think I've caught a brown trout in Kent. Yeah, I think that was a trout. Let's have another go. I don't know what this is. He's going for it. <laughs> oh. Whoa. I think it's a bloody great dace. That is a big dace. Crikey. Oh, is that a roach? I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a chap. Cracking little chub. I think that's a fish. Oh, <laughs> that is a splashy something. Oh, not bad fish. Oh, come on. Whoa, that's a better chub. <laughs> this is a good bit of sport, isn't it? Put him in the net. Oh yeah. Now we've got two in the net. He's in a pod. Nice one. Just let that out. Oh, that one's just got away. Yeah, nice one. Two little chub. Good bit of sport. Nice average size. Oh, it's absolutely bucketing it down now. Yeah. Good lord, I must be mad in this weather. I think now I'll put those two chub back, they'll have buggered the swim. They'll have gone and told all their mates. I think if I get two, three fish from each swim, that's about, about it. That was a bite. Right. Yep, I think they're gone. These little spots, they are tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So 
one fish, two fish, and you're done. Right, we're in another spot here. A bit deeper this one, and a bit slower. Not a lot slower. And I can actually stand out in the middle of the water. It looks nice. Maybe there's not a fish in here though. There should be a fish in here. Looks fishy enough. Again, it's a bit of a struggle with this float. It's definitely not big enough. That's a fish. There's a fish. There's some nice size, size fish in here, wherever they are. Oh, especially on this really light tackle. Oh, I think that's a perch. Well, all sorts in here, isn't there? So that's it. Oh, I've got a net over here. What am I doing? Oh, sod it, they're standing in the water, just pull them out. There we go. Third species. Lovely little perch. Not more than a couple of ounces, but good sport. See what else is down here. I've definitely hooked a trout earlier. I'd like to see another one of them. I don't think I've ever caught a, uh, oh no, uh, I don't think I have caught a Kentish brown trout, can't remember, I have to have a think about it. Oop, is that a fish? The perch was right under that bush over there. Oh, I don't know whether that was a bite or not. There's a fish. Oh, that feels a better one. What's this? It's another chub. Another perch. Another perch. Oh, this is good sport. Oh. There you go. Bit bigger than the last one. Whoa, whoa. Oh, and he come off. That's all right. Oh no, he's trashed my rig. Or oh, I've trashed my rig. It wasn't his fault. It's literally right under that bush as it goes. I'm just sort of casting out a bit and then pulling it back and letting it run again because I can't actually get line out of the rod. So just sort of like, oh, just lowering the rod down like that as it goes down and then just pulling it back up and starting again. Pretty simple. Just putting it back up here, just chucking some maggots in front of me, and so I'm bite on contact with the fish if I get a bite. This is fun. I just made it to another spot. There's a lovely little slack down here, so I'm just standing back a bit from the bank. We're going to fish up here actually, and down to it down there. So here we go. There's a fish. Oh, there's a fish right now. It might be the best one of the day. Ooh, oh, don't go in there, you fiend. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Gone right under that bush. I think you might have even done me. No. <laughs> That's another chub. There's loads of these chub in here. It all seem to be about half a pound. Oh, he's looked under the chin. Let's get him back, see if there's another one. <laughs> there's a fish. A roach. Surprised to see that down there. I should really pick this out, but never mind. There we go, pretty fish, yeah pretty fish, I was quite surprised to catch a roach down there, it's quite fast, Let's see if there's some more down there. I have heard some stories about some massive roach out of the uh, Len, something, was there a pollution incident years and years ago and it did a three and a half or four pounder, I don't know, probably come out of Moat Park I would have thought. Racing, oh bloody hell, didn't even realise that one then. <laughs> it's racing through.
quite a lot of roach in this place. Not massive, but they're nice size. Oh. Yeah, didn't even realise I had a bite then. First trot in. Alright, let's chuck it down again, see what happens. First cast. Like I was saying about the trees, the roots are really close together here and pushing the water through. And it's just a deep channel just through the middle there. I say deep channel, two foot. <laughs> I'm so glad I bought this six foot rod. Could not fish this with, with anything else. It's just a little 0.1 or one gram to seven gram drop shot rod. Couldn't think of anything better for this actually. Maybe that was a fluke that roach. Alright, this is much more like it. There's a cover both sides. It's got a decent bit of depth and the flow's not too boily and I saw a decent fish in there swell when I uh, when I first got here so I'm pretty optimistic and it stopped raining so I can get back onto the, the phone. There's a fish, oh that is a better one. Not the wave, that is definitely a better fish. Oh, oh that's a proper donkey chub. Not a donkey chub, but it's a better chub. Oh, yeah, nice. My little rod's just twangling. Oh, oh you cheeky monkey. There's a brassy chub. <laughs> I'll tell you, chub are my favourite species at the moment. That was good perfect spot honestly like look at that there's a uh, cover all the way along the bank and a decent bit of depth that was first trot down look at that lovely fish lovely chub well chuffed i'll do a bit of my usual trick and leave him in the net Give him catch me another one before he spooks all his mates. Not quite as easy down here. Put him down there. We'll do right down there for a bit. <laughs> First one down. There's a big bush there. I couldn't quite see the float. And just as a uh, as I stuck my head around the other side, <laughs> the float was like whoop. Nice. They go on that light tackle as well. So I've settled down in this swim just above where I caught that nice chub. And look what I've caught, an eyed, an eyed of all things. Who would have thought it? I saw a couple of fish down there. I saw a bream down there, quite a nice size one. And I've just pulled out this blinking eyed. I don't think I've ever caught an eyed out of a river. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful fish. Look at that. <laughs> They're nice fish. See if we can catch that bream. I've only got like 100 maggots left, which is a bit stupid. Sorry, <laughs> should have been kneeling down for that one. He made it in the water. <laughs> Keep fishing till I run out of maggots. Obviously a few fish in here. I'd like to catch that bream. I'm trying to put the maggots in quite a high upstream, quite a flow on it, because I don't really want them right down there. They might want to be down there, but I don't want them down there. And the light's really bad down there, it's all sort of dappled and... It's hard to see my little teeny weeny float. Another fish. Oh, there's some good fish in here. Don't know what this is. I think there's a bit of chub. It's going nuts. That's a nice roach. Not a massive roach, but to be honest, the roach in here are quite a good size. They're not tiddlers. My back is nearly out, so uh, 
I'm going to call it an, uh, call an end to this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy getting wet. I'm sorry about the dark wet bits. It was bloody horrible. And uh, I'm going to fish on. I might. I might even stop on the River Bourne on my way home. Um, see how it goes. It's harvest is coming soon. I'll be really busy. Anyway, I'm glad you've enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. You know me, guys. Never done until it's done. I've caught another ride. I don't know if it's the same one or another one. It's not the same fish. It is not the same fish. The last fish had a very protruding plum. Two eyed. I'll hold it on tightly. Two eyed. <laughs> Both about a pound each in a tiny little stream. Come out and try these streams. They are absolutely awesome. It's, you know, it's only just take a light rod and just grab what you can. But yeah, great fishing. I'm finding it hard to leave, but I am going to go. Anyway. See you later.